We told you they'd stick around on the heels of celebrating 25 years since their very first show. The Huxtables are back. Bill Cosby, Felicia Rashad, Earl Hyman, Malcolm Jamal Warner, Keisha Knight Pulliam, Raven Simone, and Jeffrey Owens have been hanging out with us all morning, and they are back to answer our questions my and question your questions. Is, my question is, where did you get that sweater from? <laughs> <laughs> it was just hanging around. Nice, <laughs> Whose idea was it to wear sweaters like this, Bill? Uh, it was the wardrobe uh, woman who was a professional shopper. Uh -huh. So she would go out and th these are the sweaters that uh, were out. I mean, you said a trend. Yes. And, and, and then there was a fellow by the name of Coase Vandenacker who took pieces of leather and fur and all kinds of different designs. They're the ones, the geometric mm -hmm. things that you see that look rather expensive. Mm, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's well, we, not one of them. No, this is not one of them. No, no, this is not. But it's close enough. Anyway, we've got some viewers who want to ask some questions. We're going to go to our phone. Standing by, we've got Melanie from Monroe, Louisiana. Your question, Melanie. I would like to know, um, what is your favorite episode? Uh, mine was, without a doubt, the anniversary episode for the grandparents, mm -hmm. where the family performed, Nighttime is the Right Time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anybody can jump in. <laughs> it must be, is, is it hard to choose a, a favorite? It's hard for me. Yeah, there's a lot of great ones. I like the Thanksgiving one, where Cliff, it, it'll be outdated at some point. But it's when he had to go out and keep getting things that they forgot. The women <laughs> forgot to put stuff. This is from my my days uh, in the projects when we went to somebody's, some relative's home and all the women were cooking. In the, and in those days, stores were not open Thanksgiving Day. So you had to ride over into Camden and Princeton and places like that to find uh, nutmeg. That's right. <laughs> Nutmeg. <laughs> We're going to go to Skype now. And, oh, we lost, lost our Skype. So let me ask you a question. Keisha, one of the things I, I've always wanted, and for, uh, uh, when you remember, you look back at this show, and you were so young, uh, and now you, you know, you've obviously grown up. And do people still thirty? Thirty. Oh, wow. Are you happy to get thirty? Oh, well, you know, hey, hey, Malcolm, you're what, thirty-eight? Oh, <laughs> thank you, Al. Yes. Thank you, Al. I just thought I could, you were jumping in there. I just thought I'd help out. Do people still kind of relate to you as that little girl on the Huxtable? Do you know it's so crazy? People still do. I mean, I guess certain things about me, my eyes, my smile, are very much the same. However, people, you know, I'll be driving down the the road in the car and people will recognize me and I mean people grew up with my character and you know with it being on so many different syndicated you know syndicated television on so many different networks you know a whole new generation of people are experiencing it and watching it for the first time today and it's funny because like now I'm on you know Tyler Perry's House of Pain so the little little kids sometimes would be like Miranda and look kind of weird and then the family would be like no that's Rudy that's who that is <laughs> so I get and, that and all Ray, the time. Raven and, and Jeffrey I wanted to you guys came into the show it had already been on the air. How, was that difficult for you? Or was it a welcoming environment? Welcoming, most definitely. Extremely welcoming, yeah. Most definitely. They took care of you. They, you know, I got nurtured, especially being how old I was and not doing anything on TV like it was. Just being a part of a family that was already there and established. They took me in like I was, you know, one of their own, which was amazing. For me, it made a lot of sense because Elvin coming in, he didn't, Elvin doesn't know anyone. <laughs> and, and Jeffrey Owens didn't know anyone, so it was perfect. I didn't have to act. I just, you know, it, I was clueless, like, like my character. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, but it, it's interesting because earlier, earlier when Matt asked us about, you know, who was intimidated by, by Mr. Cosby, for me, knowing that, you know, Jeff had done all this Shakespeare, knowing that Sabrina came from you know, Yale Drama School. And, UCLA. And, and so I was, you know, for me it was kind of, it, it was kind of intimidating because mm -hmm. it was like, okay, we've got, you know, here are these, these guys who are like, they're like they're like real accomplished theater actors, and it it, it it definitely kind of put me on point and made me, uh, you know, really kind of look at what I was doing and not just not just going through the motions, but you know, they, they were a big influence in taking the acting even more seriously. Because a lot of times when you have a job, 
um, you know, you kind of slack off on the actual craft. <laughs> but them, that them, happens here a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but them coming into the fold really g gave me a certain kind of awareness because I think I had a little, there was a little intimidation factor because of their theater background. Let me, we're going to go uh, to a view, video viewer mail. We've got uh, somebody on Skype. Frederick, what's your question for the Cosby Show cast? Works just like yeah, your telephone. Yeah, it's magic, isn't it? <laughs> no, I'm this, this new technology is just fantastic. My man, Frederick. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Frederick. Well, I, I think first, first Frederick, time caller. I think Frederick is absolutely correct. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was the best show in the world, and they really should bring that show back on again because somebody's in fourth place. I'm not naming anybody. That's right. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Yeah. let me ask you a question. Would yes, sir. you Would you do a reunion show? Would you? No, no, right. no, 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 because they want to do a whole bunch of. But what if they said, Bill, whatever you want to do? You're getting loud now. I know. Yeah, because you're going back outside with that sweater on. <laughs> And your wife is going to call you. No, but it's no, it's not necessary. Mm -hmm. It's over. When you, when people play the reruns and watch on on another channel, that's it. Alvin Poussant said it, and and people should realize that you've got uh, Raven, who's very successful on Disney. You've got uh, Keisha. You've got Felicia. You've got all these people. Write decent scripts. Make it stop trying to be uh, profanity laden and use all the sexual parts and and what you call reality, which is not really reality. Good, decent writing never hurt anything. Amen. Amen. All right. Now we're going to go to the tried and true technology. We're going to a telephone. <laughs> we're going to talk to Christy. Christy, what's your question? Hi, my question is for Dr. Cosby. Um, in one or two seasons, I noticed that you wore a pin on all your clothes in every scene, even on your pajamas. And I always wanted to know why you wore that and what it signified to you. Sammy Davis died, and I had that pin made up just to have always that, that memory. That was, so it was something, a, a, rem a remembrance, basically. Yes, sir. Oh, very Percy, very good on there, there is initials, right? SD, mm -hmm. SDJ. I remember. Not, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Felicia, what, what's your best memory of this? My best memory is um, sitting in a room by myself, having the door open, and Jay Sandrich, our director, walks in and says, Felicia, come meet your new family. And when I entered the room, there was Keisha and Tempest and Lisa and Malcolm and they looked like jewels. Mm. Mm. That's true. Mm. <laughs> That's very sweet. Mm. You weren't ready for that, I were was you? not. Uh, you, all, you want a Kleenex? <laughs> <laughs> it's a moment. It's a moment. <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's such but, a... But! Yeah, uh, <laughs> but! But! <laughs> she and you and your wife have the same woman in common. Any time she had a chance, if the music was hot and it required that Claire dance and get with it, guess who she was acting? Who? T.T. Ah. Tina Turner. Yeah. That's every time, man, <laughs> she would do Tina Turner. And you and your wife were at the Tina Turner. Sitting in front of your wife. And how did you get in front of my wife? <laughs> I did. Actually, I was behind your wife. I was behind her. And well, that's even to be. worse. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> You know what? Ever no. since you put that sweater on, <laughs> it's you, a magic you, sweater. <laughs> you get your own series. There it is, NBC. You got your winning series sitting right here, and you can't even recognize it. How many people have missed this? <laughs> 
<laughs> the Cosby twins, Mr. Bill Cosby, Felicia Rashad, Earl Hyman, Malcolm Jamal Warner, Keisha Knight Pulliam, Raven Simone, and Jeffrey Evans. Thank you so very much. This is such a pleasure. Our next person interviewing us will be <laughs> and <a> guess, Latino. <laughs> And a reminder, the 25th anniversary DVD collection of the Cosby Show's greatest moments of Amblin Stores. Coming up next, the five real estate markets that are on the verge of a rebound. And what's it?